sponsored by Bright Beginnings Family Child Care. Discover top-notch options for the little ones you love at Bright Beginnings Family Child Care in South Bend. We took a trip out to Bright Beginnings to learn about the resources they provide families in our area and how they're expanding. Take a look. On Main Street, just south of downtown, is Bright Beginnings Family Child Care. Now, you are serving so many little ones every single day. So, what does it look like as far as what are the, the programs that you're currently offering? Because I know we're talking about expansion, but what have you been offering to parents and families in our, in our community? Absolutely. So, currently, we're open 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., and we offer child care from infants all the way to school agers. So, I think our oldest one is 12 at this moment. <laughs> And that's a wide range of needs that you're really filling the gap for parents that are really looking for childcare. That can be such a headache for parents right here in our area, but you're expanding that time frame. Tell us a little bit about how you're gonna be able to serve even more families. I know, we're so excited that we're finally in a position to offer 24 hour care. So our hours will be 5.30 a.m. on Monday until noon on Saturday. Um, it's something that I've been wanting to do for years, but with COVID, it's just been a struggle, but we're really wanting to go ahead and do it and make it really impactful for our families, not only our families now, but also inviting more families to, to register and enroll and have access to those late hours. And you were talking earlier about the capacity, what that's able to do for the number of families that you're able to serve. What does that look like when you're able to provide so many hours and options for, for people in our area? Yeah, we, we want, we're going to be able to double our capacity. So right now we have about 100 students enrolled um, from 6 to 6. And so we're, we'll be able to take more children in the 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. hours. And you mentioned the hiring process, looking for people that are also willing to provide care for, for kids, looking for those specific hours. Maybe that works well for their schedule. So what does that look like moving forward, how you're able to provide employment opportunities as well as care opportunities for, for the children? Absolutely. So staffing has obviously been a struggle for everyone through COVID especially, um, but we've already started to um, started our interview process. We've been interviewing for about a, a week and a half. We have over 50 applicants, so there are a lot of people who are interested in working second and third shift. So we, you know, we provide a really good um, culture and we focus on professional development and training and just making sure that we have the right teachers in place. Um, so I don't think it's going to be so hard. I know that was, it's always going to be a challenge to find the right staff, but I think we're, we're putting our best foot forward and making sure that we hire the right people and for, so far so good. So we'll definitely be ready. And schedules change. We know this when, when parents are changing work schedules. Are you always needing to have the same schedule? Do you do drop-ins? What does that look like for parents that maybe need a little bit of flexibility? Well, currently how childcare is set up now, typically child is only want to enroll for full-time care. Um, we have been offering like a daily care, but parents really, it's hard to do that. So with our drop-in care program, parents can just have a couple hours or a day, even if they're not enrolled full-time. Um, you know, just making sure that if you need care, whether it's, you know, an hour, a couple hours notice or a day's notice, then we'll be able to provide that as well. And how does that drop-in work? Do you do you go through the same enrollment process? Because I know that could be very appealing for parents that really need that care, whether they're just in a pinch because they just need a few hours, their schedule change. What does that enrollment process look like as well? So right now, parents will just need to go to our website, www.wearebbc.com. You can actually start the enrollment process on our website and fill out an inquiry form to be put on our drop-in care waiting list. What will happen when parents do need drop-in care, they will just go in our system and find out if there is space in the classroom that they need care for. They can just book it online and then drop their kids off right after that. 24-hour care and our drop-in care program is set to start on June 12th. Our drop-in care program will be a great alternative for parents who don't need full-time care or even part-time. If parents just need one day a month or you know a couple hours here and there, it'll be a great way to provide care for those parents providing so many care options for families right here in the South Bend area. You have to check out Bright Beginnings Family Child Care. Check out Bright Beginnings Family Child Care. They are having an open house on June 10th from 2 to 5. Go and check it out and their expanded hours. You can give them a call 574-855-1604 or check out wearebbc.com or easy enough find them on Facebook.